Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace. Today we are looking at the book of Romans chapter 4, verse 17 and 18. The Bible says, As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, the God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. Against our hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. So shall your offspring be. Remember this is Abraham, whom by this time was very advanced in age. And here God tells him that he will become the father of many nations. In this case, in verse number 17, Abraham, that is especially when we look at Genesis 17 verse 5, where God brings in the promise that he will be a father of many nations. Here, he is not only the father to the Jewish nation, but also as in a spiritual sense, he is for the Gentile nations. And Paul here calls God, the God who gives life to the dead. And secondly, the God who calls things that are, are not as though they were. So this is a powerful God speaking to a man and a woman. In this case, God speaking to Abraham about becoming a father of many nations. And this man is well advanced in age. He, his wife as well. And so he's calling things that are not as though they were. He brings or he gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they were. And Abraham and his wife, in the real sense, and especially biologically, they were virtually dead. If you were to speak about their ability to give birth or to have a child to, for Sarah to even conceive, they were very old. But from God's end, God is the one who gives life. God is the one who calls things that are not as though they are. And he is such a powerful God. There are situations in our lives which look as though they are gone and fully and totally gone. When we put our faith in God, he is able to give life even to that dead situation in our lives. He is able to call that which is not there now as though it is there. Not only so, he truly brings it to pass. And so in verse number 18, we are told that against all hope, there was nothing that was working towards their situation, but their faith in God, Abraham's faith in God, worked for him. Verse number 17, we are told he is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed. This God is such a powerful God. And so against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Against all hope. Are you feeling as though there is no hope concerning that situation in your life? Against all hope, believe in hope that God is able to bring that promise to pass. He keeps his word, but we have to persist. We have to move on against all hope. There is hopelessness, but Abraham decided to work against all hope. And so he believed and so became the father of many nations. Today, as the Lord has promised us many, many things in our lives, let us not allow the desperate situation at hand pull us down, cause us to, to, to have unbelief. Let us believe in God against all hope. Hope in God. Praise the Lord. Because this God, once again, verse 17, he is able to give life to the dead. And secondly, to call things that were not 
as though they are. Take heart and courage in God, who is able to revive your situation today. And he is such a faithful God. Against all hope, believe and hope in God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.